Yes, that's right, guys. I have um, purchased a uh, microphone. Didn't realize how cheap they were. Um, and hopefully now you can hear me better over there in Homeland. But let's do a test. Um, hello. Is there anybody in there? Nod if you can hear me. Welcome to um, Ben and Berlin, Ben and Berlin, dun, dun, Ben and Berlin, Ben and Berlin. I haven't done that in a long time, have I? So this week I'm going to be tasting four um, tasty German beers. <laughs> um, uh, tasting, tasty, tastiness, taste quizzedness, tasty, tasty. Reviewing, reviewing. Um, yeah, so welcome to uh, German Beers 4. This week we'll be reviewing uh, four tasty German beers. Same principles as always, gang. Um, I'm tasting these beers so you don't have to. No, <laughs> I'm tasting these beers so um, uh, it's something to do. Uh, four um, German beers this week are Krombacher Pils, Radkuna Pilsner, Bex Pils, and last but not least, all the way from just over here, a new beer to try, guys. Berliner Kindle. Bock Dunkel. So the, the other great thing about this microphone is it's, um, the cable is really long, so I can walk all the way over here to um, all this ridiculous packaging that came with the, um, the headphones. Hopefully you can still hear me. But still, we're still going. We're still going. We're still going. We're st and can you, you can still hear me. You can just about see me. Some of you are just about listening. Um, that wasn't really the box that the um, headphones came in, guys. That box was for something else. Um, so don't worry. On to beer number one. Here we go. Oh, good noise. noises. I, and now have I poured that badly or is that how it comes out? But this is the Cronbacher Pills. Mmm. So I'm getting quite a multi tang on the tongue. Mmm. Refreshing. Really refreshing. Quite soft. This is soft. So, um, done a lot of research this week, guys, because the weather turned. That's why I'm back in the old jeans or trousers. Um, sorry to you shorts fans. <laughs> Here's some um, factoids about um, this. If I do that, who's talking? Um, <laughs> so, Kronbacher Pils is the number one best-selling German beer. Uh, so, the most consumed beer in Germany is this beer. There we go, guys. Kronbacher Pill describes itself as a five-star premium lager. That's like an ultimate beer orgasm. It's a five-star and a premium. Um, but they don't say it on the, on the label. They're missing a marketing opportunity there. So I looked on their website and they have tasting notes, but also tasting notes that go with um, food. And for this time of year, um, they recommend white asparagus, which is the main asparagus in Germany. You know, back in the UK, it's mostly green asparagus. Here it's all white asparagus, which is fine. So to, you know, um, about to say shave it, but you don't shave an asparagus, do you? You peel it. You shave and peel the asparagus and, you know, chop off the rooty end. This week, guys, in between um, beers, I've got something different to, um, to eat, and it's a big brownie. Now, as we all know, brownies are the recommended um, palate cleanser between beers. I mean, that's, that's common, everyone, everyone knows that, brownies. Excuse me, that's the... Okay, Cronbacher Pills, taste note, bubbly. Not in the bubbly way. We've uh, been given Easter eggs for um, Easter and you've got lots of chocolate left over. Um, in our case, we had quite a bit of chocolate left over. We, well I, turned it into uh, a brownie. Um, on the BBC Good Food website, there is something called the best brownie re recipe ever. And yeah, it's, it's pretty good. And so let's just take, um, very gooey, let's just take a bite 
of, uh, of this to, to cleanse the palate, you know, to get ready for the, the next beer. Okay guys, I just did the second beer and um, I just checked and it, <laughs> it didn't record. So I'm gonna do um, a reverse uh, tasting for um, beer number two, which was Raskruna. So we're gonna go backwards here. Um, so this is the, uh, the correct lid. Uh, this is, <laughs> I'm gonna open it. Added sound effect later. Oh, good noise. Let's, um, if I just keep that so you can't see it, and then the magic of, the magic of the pour. Rasgruna, there's the color. I wonder what it would taste like. It still tastes bland. Um, yeah, it's like I've tried it before, quite recently. Can't smell anything. It looks like a real light lager, and the taste, There's a little bit of taste there, but there's, there's not much. Got the receipt, guys. Um, oh, wow. That's amazing. It, <laughs> um, this beer, guys, costs um, 39 cents, and then plus eight cents on top of that for the fan. But you get that back for the, uh, the recycling charge for the bottle. As uh, Raskruna Pilsner, I'm giving it two out of 10. Womp, womp, womp brownie to uh, clear the palate. Chocolatey. On to beer number three, which is Bex. Let's listen to the pup. Do you guys go under or over? That's an under. That's an over. Let me know in the comments. What do you like? Um, not what do you like, that's a, that's a broad question. What do you like in, you know, in life? Um, what do you prefer when you open your beers at home? Do you open it under the um, bottle cap or over? Let's try an over, no, let's try it. I like the under. The under has suspense, you know, excitement, anticipation. Here we go, three, two, one. Mmm, good smell. Cheers. Refreshing, crisp, a little bit hoppy. Hoppy, guys, and then with my along microphone, I then dip, but the paper out of the way. Did a hop. I can't read now. Uh, hold on a sec. Hold on. Can you see? Oh. Oops. I will recycle all of that, guys. Don't worry. Um, yeah, so if it's hoppy, I'll start hopping. And also, it's Easter. What well, has been Easter? Way. Connection. It's not the most popular, I think, in terms of beer connoisseurs. But for me, um, the, the Bex. Is, it's just a really good beer. Just um, light, refreshing, tasty. Um, it's not overpowering. Cuts through the chocolate brownie. Let's have a look at what I said. Oh, I did this for the second beer, but I didn't record it. It doesn't matter. So, third beer, Bex. Um, yeah, so interest, uh, so made in Bremen, in Germany. Apparently tried to make this in the US. So, you know, the company went over there to supply it and uh, customers rebelled against that version because I guess it wasn't as good as the, um, the original in, um, in Germany. I love the idea of that. People go, and we want the German original. We don't care if it costs more money to export it. We want it here um, because they could tell the taste was different. So, when I was younger, that was a big thing with Guinness growing up. Um, They'd always say that Guinness had a special taste in Ireland um, for various rumors and reasons, and that anything exported just wasn't the same. I think Bex is a lovely beer, guys. I'm gonna give that, um, oh man, I haven't been writing down the scores. Uh, let's quickly do a recap. So we said Krombacher, I think I said seven, mm, hopefully. And then Raskuna, I think we gave a two out of 10. 
wasn't that good. Um, I think Bexby said 8 out of 10. If we didn't, I'm going to give that an 8 out of 10 because um, that is a tasty German beer. So here it is, guy. Uh, <laughs> but in a Kindle, um, Boch Dunkel. Followers of these videos will know that we've drank the um, Berliner Kindle before. You might remember the um, boy with the golden hair sat in a beer jug. Um, well, this is not a Pilsner. This is a Bock Dunkel. Now, um, should I tell you what that is before I try No, I shall try this and then I'll tell you more about the beer. So here we go, guys. Let's open this up. Different colour, stout like. It's a really multi, um, really multi smell. Wow. You're getting, well, you're not getting, I'm getting, um, we're all getting caramel. Pray tell, Ben, what is a um, Bock and what is a Dunkel? So, Bock basically means it's a strong lager and it's usually dark and malty. And Dunkel, Dunkel just means dark German lager. Um, we haven't really explored them just yet, guys, but um, we will. But let's give this a, uh, a mark out of 10. I mean, it's the first Dunkel. It's, it's pretty good. I'm gonna give Berliner Kindle, Och Dunkel, um, a six out of 10. Well, I forgot to have um, some brownie in between the last beers, so this is to make up for it. Mm. That was um, <clears throat> German beers four guys, and so what do we give Dunkel? Six out of 10, I think. Yeah. Pretty good score. So that means in a reverse order, um, the Radkroner um, Pilsner, two out of 10. The um, Oh, so the Berliner Kindle, Bach Dunkel, um, six out of 10. The um, Krombacher Pilsner, uh, seven out of 10. And that means this week, the winner of Ben's Beers, no, Ben in Berlin's German Beers, episode four, is Bex. Way, clap, 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 way, with eight out of 10. 10. I hope you're all doing well uh, over there in Homeland. I hope you're um, surviving your various lockdowns in your home countries or in the country you're in, in the best possible way. Glad this can give a little smile. But yeah, thanks for joining me. It's been good fun. I've been Ben in Berlin. You've been you. Wishing you all the very best. Hope you had a great Easter weekend and I'll see you very soon. Tschüss.